Hello and happy summer. Thank you for joining us today with the Harris County Public Library System. I hope that you are ready for a really exciting program because today we have renowned cartoon artist, Mark Kistler. Not only is he known for his television show, Imagination Station, he also is the author of multiple books, including You Can Draw in 30 Days. Mark does these programs with us because he is also a library patron. He likes to go to our Tomball branch. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Mark Kistler. Uh, hi, everybody. Thank you so much for that nice introduction. I sure appreciate that, Jennifer. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Angela is there at the switchboard. Uh, Angela, great. I hope I didn't get you guys mixed up. But your, your switching is wonderful. I love the countdown and the music building up. That was great. I feel like, feel like we're on this, this wonderful global television webcast. It's so great. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be drawing in 3D. This is my, my new book. I, I have this in the library system. You guys can check it out now. It's called You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. Yeah, over a million of my books are in print. Ooh, I'm trying to impress you guys. Well, we're going to draw like we did last time. Now, last time I was here, we drew a spaceship and we drew a, a parachuting penguin. Here, let, let me show you the ones, some of these drawings that we did last time here. I have them all over here. And, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. We did the parachuting penguin. This was fun. Remember that? If you guys are on live with me on YouTube right now, let me know. We did the parachuting penguin. And... Let me see. What else did we draw? I forget here. Parachuting paint. We did a spaceship. Well, lots of stuff. Lots of great stuff. Well, let's get going. Put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper. Put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper. And we're going to draw a four territories. Now, if you want to write comments to the uh, to um, uh, the library, wonderful library, turbo-powered uh, people who are running this live webcast, Angela and Jennifer, you can send them a a chat on Facebook and you can ask questions like what's my favorite color green and what's my favorite character of all times the minions and what's my favorite food dim sum all right so put your finger in score number one and let's get going we're going to draw right here in score number one we're going to start by going back into time put two dots straight across from each other we're going to go way back in time way back to the time of breakfast. I bet you thought we were going to draw dinosaurs, but we might we might later, but I want to start let's go back to the time of breakfast. Draw a four shortened circle. Draw that four shortened circle right there. Draw that four shortened circle. That's one of these 12 words of drawing and I'm going to make sure that you guys have access to that link right there. In fact, you, you might be able to see it. I don't know if they, you have the Draw 3D. If you go to draw3d.com, you can print that chart up for free, okay? <laughs> Draw3d.com. I don't, hey, look at that. Uh, Draw 3D. There's the, you, you are so cool, Angela, with your handy dandy, incredible switching on the technology. Draw the four shorts and bowl. Now, I need a name. Who wants to be right here live in the cereal bowl? Send a message on Facebook, and I'll make you the cereal champion. So put your name. Send a, send your name to Jennifer on YouTube on the live YouTube, and I'll put you in the bowl. And I need some more characters, some more kids, some more characters, some more cool cats names to be in the drawing window. I'm going to draw the window. <laughs> so this is you. Here, Jason Long. Okay, so we have Jason. Jason Long. He's going to be in the window. Good job, Jason. So I'm going to put, here's uh, 
here's Jason's leg. Now you keep those names coming. And if you want to put it in the private chat too for me, uh, Jennifer Bacall, I'd appreciate that. Any names that I can put in here. So here's Jason. Here's Jason's feet. He's jumping in. Jason is so hungry. Ready? He's ready for breakfast. Look at his feet. Yahoo! He says, Yahoo! <laughs> He's going. Now watch this. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some toes here. He's like, Mom, look at my toes are awesome. And your mom's going, honey, your toes are stinky. And Jace is going, oh, I know. Isn't that wonderful? Aren't stinky toes wonderful? Aren't isn't drawing wonderful? <coughs> so take your pencil. I have an idea. I got a wonderful idea. Take your pencil. Hold oh, look at we have another name. We got another name. We have uh Elisa 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 <coughs> excuse me Elisa Overstad so take your finger Elisa and say aha take your finger and say aha here's an idea I'm gonna have the cereal so much cereal look at it's floating off into space look at that we're gonna create a story because we're we're here with the library right and we're telling tall tales stories we're creating pictures and stories that go together so Jason Jason jumped in the bowl, and Alyssa, Alyssa is going to be coming over for breakfast, too, and so is Cynthia Green. Cynthia Green's going to come over for breakfast, and also uh, Selena, Selene, Selenia Paz. Selenia Paz is going to be here for breakfast. This is so awesome. All right, so this is Jason. So Jason's waving. He's going, hello, Alyssa. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, uh, Selenia. Good to see you guys. He took a handful of cereal. Look, he took a whole handful of cereal, and he's sharing it with the world. Come on over, my friends. Come on in. The door is open for the whole world. And Jason's mom's going, Jason, you're making a mess. And Jason's going, I know. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't cereal everywhere wonderful? The cereal's flying. Now, let's use let's use a. Uh, one of these words of drawing that I call horizon. This, this is super important. Let's put this horizon line back here. Draw that horizon line far back there. And then way up here, watch this. Way up here, I'm going to put this window. I'm going to put this window. See that window right there? So we're going to add more extras. We're going to add more details and more extras. I just love, love adding extra ideas. On your paper, right, right here below your cereal, but would you write the word ordinary? Write the word ordinary. Do you think, do you think that I would, uh, I would uh, zoom in, webcast in all the way from my house up here in Tomball to where you are to draw an ordinary drawing? No, sirree. We always want to add extra ideas, extra genius, brilliant ideas. Write that. Write extra, extra, extra. Write that. We love extra. Look at underline extra. Let's make our drawing extraordinary. Let's make our day extraordinary. This is so awesome. Let's make it. All right. So now take your, uh, put an exclamation mark. You, you are. Uh, here, you need to write this. Here, you need to write, I am a extraordinary artist. Let's write that. That's you. That's you. That's your prop course. I am an extraordinary artist. Here's Jason. Look, I'm going to make Jason jumping in the bowl. I'm going to make Jason jumping in the bowl there. And in the window. Okay, so here's here's El 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 Elisa, Elisa, Elisa. There's Elisa Overstad. She's in the window. She said, Jason, this is awesome. I love that cereal. And then here is Cynthia. Here's Cynthia. There's Cynthia Green. There's Cynthia. And then here's Bobby. Here's Bobby. There's Bobby. Bobby's going, Cynthia, you're on my toes. Cynthia, get off my foot. Ow! There's, there's Bobby. And then here, here is Selenia. Here's Selenia Paz. I hope I'm saying your name right here. Selenia. She's looking on now. Selenia. Hey, Richard Blanchard's here with us. Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. Good to see you. And I, I love the, the, the your comment about Richard saying on YouTube, you never draw ordinary. The more unusual, the better. That's right. Now, watch this. 
Now up here, now look at this. Put some action lines. Put some action lines. <clears throat> All right, so we have... Uh, now, I'm going to add, let's add, uh, here, I have an idea. Now, Selenia, she's a little bit befuddled because she doesn't want to be bald. She's looking around. Look at, we have no hair. We're bald. We're like ping pong people. I want hair. So let's give Selenia some hair. Let's give Selena, Selenia some hair. Look at all this hair. Look at that hair. Do you love it? Love it? Love it? Oh, we love hair. Oh, wait, I got another idea. Take your finger. Hold your finger up and say, aha, I got an idea. Take your finger. Take your finger and push the tip of your nose. That's your genius button. And Cynthia and Selenia and Elisa and Jason and Peggy and Peggy. We have Peggy Meeks. Push the tip of your nose. So, all right. So now here's, this is, uh, here's Alyssa. So watch this. Here's Alyssa's. Look at her hair. See Alyssa's hair? I'm going to give Alyssa long hair. So so over here, this is this was Selenia, right? This is Selenia's hair. And this is Alyssa's hair. Look at Alyssa's Rapunzel's cousin. Selenia, she's like she's like Alyssianzo. So put a little shadow. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow. Put a little bit of a shadow under that bouncing hair. Just loving this. I'm loving this drawing. Love, love, love. Now, right here, let's put the sun. Let's draw the sun. We have to know where the light's coming from. So I'm going to have the, the sun is going to be shining. There's the sun. The sun's up here. See, the sun's coming down in this direction right here. So I'm going to shade opposite. See, that's one of these words. There's 12 words of drawing. And if you learn these 12 words, you can draw anything, anything in 3d anything in 3d so look at that there's our friends so here so here's cynthia here's cynthia so i'm going to give cynthia curly hair cynthia has curly hair and bobby got a haircut look i'm going to give bobby a little haircut right there so now peggy i'll put peggy i'll put you in the next drawing peggy and anybody else that wants to be in the drawing, send a, a YouTube comment, and we'll put you in the drawing. So, Peggy Meeks, you're going to be in the next one. All right. So, here we have, let's go over here. We have Jason. Do you have Jason Long? And then here is, uh, this is Alyssa Overstad. This is Cynthia Green. This is Bobby. And this is Selena, Selenia Paz, all our artists, all of our friends. All right, the sun's up here. Look at, put a shadow on the ground. Put a shadow. I love the shadow. Put the shadow on the ground. Make that, look at that. See that shadow? Now, see where the sun is? The sun's up here coming down. So let's shade. Look at this. Let's shade inside just a little bit. Make it look 3D. Do you love it? Are you loving it, loving it, loving it? If you love it, say, I'm loving it. If you're loving it, text in the chat box. Say, I'm loving it. The sun's up here coming down, so let's shade opposite. The sun's up here, so let's shade down here. Isn't that fun? Hair, she says. I want hair. The sun's up here. Let's get it lighter and lighter. This is wonderful. Now, uh, uh, watch this. I'm going to shade that little bit. Put a little bit of shading on the face. Isn't that fun? Isn't that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? All right. Well, I'm going to pick. I'm going to look at this. A lot of these drawings are coming from my book. You can draw in 30 seconds. Now, you can you can check this one out, I guess. I think you can check. You can draw in 30 days out from your library. And this one, you can draw in 30 seconds. This one, this one is self-published. So if you want to get your own copy, you're going to have to go to my website at mark at markkistler.com. They'll probably put it there. There she is. Thank you, Angela. But inside here, look at this. We could, could pick any drawing. There's 200 pages. And I'm going to pick the next one, next drawing that we're going to do right here. And that's going to be a, a dinosaur baby. We're going to use these words. Let's draw a dinosaur baby hatching out. So let's use that same shape we learned. Put two dots straight across. So I'm going to start with that same shape right here. See that? I'm going to draw a foreshortened circle. Take your pencil and draw that four short and circles. One of those 12 words, okay? One of these 12 words. And I want you to print this up. This is a free chart. You go to draw3d.com, 
print that chart up and you can you you can use these words you see a uh, four shortened circle and draw the bull coming down here that's going to we're going to use that same shape that we we talked about right see that draw that bull down here now i'm going to take this i'm going to stretch my imagination look at my picture down here in the bottom corner put your hand on your head and stretch your ideas stretch put your hand on your head and stretch stretch your ideas let's let's make this dinosaur pop and open here so all the dinosaur all the dinosaurs are, are coming in to see the the hatching they're like yay the baby dinosaurs hatching yay and peggy makes is going to be greeting the baby dinosaur draw the four shortened circle Peggy makes says she loves to draw. Well, Peggy, I'm going to draw Peggy down here. She's going to be greeting the dinosaur. Peggy's going to be saying, happy hatch day, dinosaur. Happy hatch day. Look, it's popping open. You parents out there probably remember Pac-Man. This kind of looks like a Pac-Man drawing. I actually taught a lot of the artists who created Pac-Man how to draw back in the 1980s. You know that? I started doing my TV show back in in uh, 19. Oh my goodness, this was before your parents were born on the show called Secret City. And then, and what's you know what's fun about the Secret City? One of my students did this painting right here. Look at this painting, isn't this fun? He did this painting of Mount Rushmore, but he put the four icons of 1980s pop culture on PBS. He put Mr. Rogers' a Neighborhood. LeVar Burton with Reading Rainbow, Bob Ross, The Joy of Oil Painting, and who's that handsome devil back there? That's right. That's Commander Mark. That was me. Isn't that a neat poster? If you go to my website at markkissler.com, you can you can check that, that cool poster out here. But then I did in 1995, I did another show called The Imagination Station, and this one right here is if you if you like the drawing if you like to draw with me you can actually draw more with me on amazon prime okay and draw more with me this these lessons are on amazon prime it's really cool well let's let's learn more about this foreshortening more about the shading put some action lines make that pop and open now watch this put some action lines i'm going to draw the baby's face there's the baby's face that's blocking in here yeah, Angela, Angela Martinez Rose Icons. Thank you, Angela Martinez. Now watch this. Now watch this. See, see this right here? Now from the see these two points right here? I'm gonna connect it. Hey, oh Angela and Jennifer, I want to send you guys autographed prints right here. And I'll send a print too for the library. So you remind me. I'm, these are 11 by 17. They're beautiful art prints. Michael Calero did this. It's just wonderful. And I'll sign it. He signed it. And I'll send you guys. I'll, I'm going to send the library uh, 11 by 17. And I want each of you for doing this. Yeah, you, Jennifer and Angela, thank you so much for putting so much effort into this community outreach, bringing authors and illustrators to the children in the Harris County library system, especially in my Tomball area. And, well, really for kids all over the world who watch YouTube. So thank you for doing this here. Let's shade inside here. Look at make it get lighter, get lighter and lighter. Shade inside. That's shady. I'm gonna put the sun. Watch this. I'm gonna put the sun up here on the right. So the sun's coming down. You have to know where the sun is. Wherever the sun is, the sun's up here. I'm gonna put the near eye larger. That's one of these words called size. The near eye is larger right here. And this eye is gonna be a little bit smaller. This is larger. And look at this. I'm gonna darken in the there's the face. Isn't that wonderful? There's the face. The sun's up here. Now watch this. I'm going to shade. I'm going to shade down here. The sun's up here. Watch this. I'm going to shade here. Do you love it? Love it? Love it? <coughs> I love it. I love it. The sun's up here. Here, let's shade inside here. And let's get lighter and lighter as you come down. I'm loving this. Look at this. Isn't drawing wonderful? Isn't shading wonderful? The sun's up here. Let's shade the back of the neck. Look at, take your time. 
just add the details. Now, remember, if I go too fast for you, it's on YouTube. You can always watch the re, re the 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 recording, right? You can always watch the recording. No, no worries. Okay, just just think of think of stress on the bus. Wave goodbye, everybody. Wave goodbye to stress. Goodbye, stress. No stress. Everybody, wave goodbye to stress. I want you guys to give yourself permission to fail. I want you get you you girls and boys to give yourself a license to flop. Okay, you. I want you to have have a license to make mistakes. That's how you become better and better and better. You can't succeed. You can't succeed unless you give yourself license to flop, because you have to fail to succeed. You have to, just like you've heard that before, that you have to strike out at bat before you make the you know your home runs. Well, you have to flop a bunch of birthday cakes before you can before you can bake a perfect birthday cake. Or in my case, you have to mess up a bunch of omelet flippings before you can make a great omelet. And I tell you, I I was trying this morning to make my son and I the perfect omelet, and it was basically turned out to scrambled eggs. It was still good, but ah, you guys have just got to flop it just right, and ah, I'm not quite there yet. But you have to give yourself permission to flop. All right, so the sun's up here. Why am I talking about flopping omelets when we're drawing in 3D? Hmm. Aha. I love drawing. Look at this is my favorite character, the minion. I actually taught the, the, the artist who created the minion. I taught them how to draw back in 1990s. Isn't that cool? The sun's up here. I'm going to shade inside. Let's shade inside here. It's dark right here. It gets a little bit lighter. <clears throat> Look at this. It's dark up here. It gets a little bit lighter as it comes across. Do you love it? Love it? Love it? Isn't that wonderful? Oh wait, I got I got another idea here. Let's put down here. Put some dots. I love texture, so let's put texture. See, I'm going to put some grass on the ground down here. Take this and let's put let's put some grass. See that? I'm going to put a bunch of grass. See that? I love what that texture does. That texture makes it. Makes it really, really 3D. See that? Isn't that wonderful? Do you love it? Love it? Love it? Oh, I have another idea here. The sun's right here. So I'm going to put a shadow cast on the ground. See, the shadow will make your drawing look 3D. Put that shadow. Now, I love details. Let's put some details. Maybe make the dinosaur egg hatching. Do you love Look at that. And down here, we'll make this dinosaur egg hatching. That is so awesome. Break time. Time for a sip of my decaf coffee. Well, not very exciting, but delicious. If you have a water, take your water. Get your brain. Keep your brain cooled down. I know you're turbocharging. All right. Our, our dinosaur is looking pretty good. I have another idea. Take your finger. Hold your finger up one more time and say, aha, come on, uh, Peggy, come on, Jason, come on, Cynthia, come on, Cynthia, uh, and, 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 and uh, Peggy, say, aha, aha, here, I got an idea, I'm going to make hair, I'm going to put hair on the dinosaur back here, wait, 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 look, I'm going to give this dinosaur long hair, this dinosaur Yep, you got it. This dinosaur plays bass in a garage band. Oh, yeah. I play bass in a garage band. Oh, yeah. There's our there's our friend. Now, let's draw. Here's Peggy. Peggy makes... Peggy, she's greeting the dinosaur. So, draw Peggy's face. And here's Peggy. Look at... She's, she's going to be standing here. And she's saying, Welcome, baby dinosaur. Welcome to planet Earth. Happy Hatch Day to you, baby dinosaur with cool, freaky hair. Happy Hatch Day to you, baby dinosaur with the really neat, detailed, hatching, cracked egg. Happy Hatch Day. Now, I'm gonna, now watch with the foot. Don't go straight across. I'm going to angle it down just a bit. Don't go straight across. Angle it down. Remember, that's one of these words. That word's called placement. Near things are lower. And also size, near things are larger. I want you to, would you put the bottom of the screen, would you put up that draw 3D? Would you put that up again there for me, uh, Jennifer or Angela? Now, draw 3D. I want you, there's 500 lessons on this. 
it's a paid site, but do the free stuff. You see right down there? There's so many cool free stuff. And you know my favorite collection of free on the Draw 3? Check this out. Look at this. I did this. I did this series with NASA. I did a joint collaboration with NASA. Now, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, NASA had a mission to the moon called Apollo, the Greek god Apollo. Well, for your generation, NASA's mission to the moon is called Artemis. It's uh, uh, the Greek god Apollo's sister. Well, I taught a lot of the astronauts and artists and engineers how to draw in the 1980s and 90s. And they invited me, Mark Kistler, to to do a, a, a collaboration with them, which means I teamed up with these guys and we did a series called Draw Artemis uh, Mission. We did how to draw the rocket ship, how to draw the Orion spacecraft, how to draw NASA's orbiting uh, moon lunar science station, how to draw the Orion crew's uh, re-entry suit, the moon, how to draw NASA's moon exploration, and oh, there's just so many lessons here. Let me, and these are all free, you guys. These are, uh, these, these draw, these NASA lessons are free at draw3d.com. I hope you check them out. They're really cool. They're really cool. Let me show you some actual lessons that we did. So this is the, uh, look at this here. This, this, there's so many here. Here's the actual Orion. That's an hour lesson. Does that look interesting? Does that look interesting? Look, I put Peggy Marks up here. See, I wrote, taking notes. Does that look fun? If you guys tell me, let, send me a text. Does that look like a fun hour? And then we, we uh, interviewed the actual engineers and NASA scientists. This was the space suit. That was the re-entry suit. This was the episode of the orbiting, uh, gateways, the lunar science station, the moon side, the, the Orion docks here, and they, they hang out here like it's like an RV, and then they drop down to the surface of the moon. There's exploration uh, dune buggy, and there's the the uh, or the largest rocket ever to left off the planet Earth. Now, remember, these are free. Now, look at this, Angela Martinez and Jennifer Bacall. Look at this. Full steam ahead. Science, technology, engineering, art, and math. This is this is should be our global educational goal. I've you've all heard of STEM education. I, I'm proposing we go full steam ahead. Put arts right there in the middle. Put arts right in the middle. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that draw3d.com website. All right. Now let's go back to our drawing. I'm going to continue for this one. Watch this. I'm going to continue this horizon. This will be kind of cool. Look at this. Look, this is this is kind of neat here. Look, well, I went from this. We were here. We were inside the interior, and I, I extended that interior over to the exterior. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful. Now the sun's up high, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little sky. I'm going to put a little value back here. Take your pencil, really dark back here. And you get lighter as it goes up. Look at that. Really dark. Get lighter. It's dark back here. And I want to say, I just want to put a little value back here. All right. Now, let's add some more details to Peggy Meek. So here's Peggy Meek. Peggy Meek, she's welcoming the dinosaur. There's her nose. And she's just so happy. Look how there's her big happy smile. She is, she is just one happy artist. Here's her eye. The near eye is larger. And look at here's her hair. You know what, Peggy? I'm gonna give Peggy beautiful long hair. Look at Peggy. Look at your hair. Your hair is even longer than than Alyssa's in the first drawing. Look at this. Peggy has this really long hair. Isn't that awesome? Look at her hair. Look at her hair. Her hair is really long. Look at this. Her hair. It's just beautiful. Look at there's her hair. There's Peggy Meeks with the coolest hair in the whole valley. There's her hair. Now, on the body here, I'm going to give her, here's her her cool-looking suit, her cool-looking outfit, and her, I'm going to give her foot little boots here. These boots are made for drawing. So there she is. There's, there's our friend Peggy, Peggy Meeks. And here, I'll make her mouth open here. And then I'll put, give her, she's waving, happy hatch day, dinosaur. Happy hatch day. My name is Peggy. I have the coolest hair on the whole planet. 
Now, to make it look 3D, remember, with the sun's up here. So I want to put shading. Watch this. I'm going to shade down below here. See that? See, the sun's above. So I'm going to shade down here below. Shade, shade, shade. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Excellent job, you guys. Excellent job. All right, look at this. This is great. So where shall we go next? We've done we've done our four or two drawings. Let's draw in our next square. What should we do? Should we draw what should we draw in our next square? Should we draw Tyrannosaurus Rex? Should we draw the penguins? Should we draw space kitties? Look at these. How about ooh? Maybe we should draw a shark, a shark swimming in the deep, or perhaps. Or perhaps a big giant ninja squirrel. Give everybody a big hug. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. Well, so what should we draw in our next square? Let's see here. There's so many ideas. Oh, I, all right. Let's go. Let's travel to. I just had my notes up here, you guys. Uh, let's draw. Oh, oh. Oh, I forgot we were going to draw this one. We're going to draw space kitties. Woo. So let's draw that. So let's go to square number three, our third square. Get my drawing all ready here. And I'm going to put a dot right here. Now watch this. I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw one space kitty. We'll draw a big, now you could put three of them together. Our space kitties. <clears throat> there, now let's draw this. This is overlapping. Now we start with the sphere, the circle. And this is, this is a lesson I emphasize in this book that you guys can check out from the library. It's the very first lesson that I teach in this book and it starts with everything starts with a circle with a, a, a sphere see that everything starts with a circle now if now I in this book right here in this book each lesson has several parts we have the actual lesson here and then I, I deconstruct it I deconstruct the lesson and then I give you a bunch of embellishments taking look at this taking that lesson taking the circle and changing it adding extras look at the sharkies Look at the little baby octopus. You know what? If you come back next month, we'll draw this drawing. If you come back next month to our, our Harris County Library System Live with Mark Kessler drawing, we'll draw this. We'll draw page 31. You remind me, Jennifer and Angela, about that. But look at all these. Uh, let me show you some more. Look at, oh, this is cool. We'll draw this one too. Look at, look at the, the, the hot air balloon. Isn't that one? Or how about some, how about a big giant fat? elephant butt marching away all based on that circle the circles the circles are a great building block so let's draw let's draw the <clears throat> this kitty here i'm going to draw the jowls draw the near jowls right here draw those kitty jowls and then i'm going to draw the eyes see i'm just i start really lightly we just sketch it in and we're going to end up with a really nice detailed drawing now we have Mickey Young. Mickey Young's gonna be in this drawing. Is that how I say his name? Is it Mikey Young or is it Mike Young? It looks like it's Mike Young. So I'm gonna put Mike Young. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And oh, well, thank you, Peggy Meeks. I love that word. I love engaging. I'm so glad that I that you guys think that I am engaging. That's you know what that is? That comes from 40 years of, of teaching. I love, love, love teaching. Teaching's my superpower. What's your superpower? Everybody has a superpower. What's your superpower? You guys, my son has his superpower. He loves mowing lawns. And he's he's actually wanting to come over to the libraries and mow their lawns. And Angela and Jennifer, I'm going to show you. He finally got his huge lawn mowing trailer. We're putting his logo on the side. He's my 19-year-old special abilities boy. He's so awesome. We're going to bring his, his mighty Mario here. Here's his logo. Check this out. I'm so proud of my son. He's my hero. My son, look at Here's his logo right here. See his logo? That's going to be on the side of his his uh, trailer, and it's just it's so cool. Look at he, this is a he drew his this is his drawing of his Green Monster logo. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? And if you guys want to see see Mario's story, I don't know if you could put this on the bottom screen there. I would love you guys to look at Mario's story. He's he's a just a, a great inspiration for 
to overcoming any obstacles, even physical or emotional obstacles, and ha- making your dreams come true. It's a. Uh, it's he has this GoFundMe story. If you go to GoFundMe, it's just so cool. He's just so inspiring. GoFundMe, and you go to the title is Mighty Mario, Mighty Mario's Dream Quest. That's what you look for. Mighty Mario's Dream Quest. It's just, it's such a neat story. We adopted Mario when he was only uh, one and a half years old. Dream Quest. And you can read his story at GoFundMe. It's just awesome. All right, let's get on with our drawing. I'm just so proud of my son. Here, draw the... uh, Draw, I'm drawing the kitty cats here. Now I'm going to darken in that nose. I put the eyelashes kind of drooping. We just darken in that nose. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, no stress. Stress is on the bus. Stress is on the bus. No stress. Beep, 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 beep. Stress is on the bus. We're going to draw that, that space kitty here. We're going to draw that space kitty. All right, so now I'm going to tuck... Underneath here, look at let's just draw the eyes and draw the draw the little reflections in the eye. I am loving that one. Draw that one. Isn't that good? Now right away, I always forget to put the the whiskers, so I put whiskers right away so I won't forget. I always draw the whiskers. Now, I love the texture, and I love the shading. I love the details of the space antenna back here. So let's draw the ears. The ears are like the, the letter A. Draw the ears. And then we're going to draw back here. Watch this. See this thickness? See, we draw the thickness, the back of the ear. So this front becomes a foreshortened shape. Foreshortening, a very important. When you squish and distort. You squish and distort to make your drawings look 3D. Squish and distort. Important words. Now, let's put the texture. Let's put the texture, texture, texture. I love the texture. And look at what's going to happen. We start simple, simple, simple. And we put layer upon layer upon layer of detail. Isn't that wonderful? And this is Mike Young's pet space cat. Mike Young has his own pet space cat. Very cool. He's a cool cat. All right, so now let's shade this. The sun, or the sun's coming from the top right, right? Yeah, so remember, remember our sun's coming from up here. The sun's coming down the same direction, the same direction. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shade. I'll shade inside the ears. Put a little bit of shading inside the ears first. You see what I'm doing? Shade inside the ears and get a little bit lighter as it comes out. A little bit lighter. The sun's up high. Look at this. I'm going to shade the side. I want to shade down here. Shade, shade, shade. All right, now take your pencil. Let's shade down here. Make it get lighter. Make it get lighter. And it's dark. Look, it gets lighter and lighter. I'm going to put a shadow on the ground. Put that shadow. Say shadow. The shadow. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Put that shadow. And then, oh, oh wait, I'm going to put some more detail. Just a few more detail. You guys, you guys are so smart. You guys are like Einsteins. You, you are Einsteins. Hey, you have several viewers on Facebook. Uh, all right, well, hey, hi, Facebook people. Hello, Facebook people. Glad you're there. You guys, thank you, YouTube viewers. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Instagram people. All right. Uh, usually, Facebook people are very chatty when they're drawing with me. So, you, Facebook, I want you guys on YouTube and on Facebook to send me what state and and what state you're from, what state you're from, and what country you're from. Usually, I'm hoping my my friends over in India. Or in Germany and in uh, Scotland. I hope you guys are watching today. Hope you're drawing with us. We love drawing all over the world. We love bringing creativity to the world through the Harris County Library Program. Yay! Reaching out to the whole world, the power of literature. 
the power of, of pictures and words, words and pictures. All right, there's our space kitty. Put a dot right here, a dot right here. We're gonna put, we're gonna put the, we're gonna put our little space kitty's antenna here. See that? Now I'm gonna put some antenna. I love adding detail. Isn't that fun? I love the detail. And now back here, I want to, to put a moonscape. Watch this. I'm going to put like real jagged. Look at I want to put like just this really kind of crazy moonscape back behind here. Okay. So so then what I'm going to do behind there, that moon, is I'm going to darken it in. That'll be the space. That'll be like moon craters back there. I'm going to darken it in and get lighter as it goes up. So let's let's really set this. Let's set this in space. See that? So. And I'll get lighter as it goes up. Can you guys do that? Isn't that fun? Isn't that cool how you can you can put that background here? See this? I'm going to darken it in here. It's dark. Darken it in here. Looking good, you guys. Darken it. It gets lighter. Lighter, dark here. Look at it. It gets lighter as it goes up. I'm loving this. If you're loving it, raise your hand. If you're loving it, give me a thumbs up in the text in the chat box on you Facebook and on YouTube. Ah, there's my son right there. My son came up. How you doing? Everything good? I was just telling him all about you, Mario, out there with your trailer. There, come over here. Put your face right here on and you can get Yeah, I showed him that. I showed him that and I showed him the drawing you made. Here's my son. He can't He's been out working on his lawns already today. Here, put your there you go. I'll put I'll put my head over here. There he is. Oh, look at flashes down here too. The kitty cat. He can pick up flash. All right. Thanks, Momo. All right. Uh uh. Oh, he's okay. Wait, we got he's gonna ask me something. All right. All right, the joy of webcasting live from our house. We get to do parenting and drawing teaching. Last square, guys. Last square. Woo! Now, if you want to draw more with me, remember I have a bunch of uh, 300 lessons on YouTube. I got 500 lessons on uh, draw3d.com. And oh, wait, wait. Here's my, here's my, uh, look at <laughs> uh, Jennifer. You are such a great, wait. It's Angela. Angela, you're doing this, the switching. Uh, my summer art camps, virtual summer art camps. I have weeks and weeks and weeks of virtual summer art camps available at markkistler.com. Love to have you guys sign up for that. And also, you guys, I have uh, 50 scholarships. I have 50 scholarships, and I have, I must have at least 31 left. So if you guys are interested in getting a scholarship of my uh, nonprofit organization called the Imagination Initiative, I'm giving away a whole bunch of full and partial scholarships, so don't let the uh, the uh, uh, registration fee scare you away. Um, it's ninety nine dollars for a family for the whole week, but if that's uh, a challenge for you, then send me an email to mark at markkistler dot com. Here's my email, mark at markkistler dot com, and I, I'll be happy to extend scholarships to you guys. Okay. I would love to. All right, let's go to our last square. And I want to draw, I want to draw an ocean drawing. Should we draw, should we draw the the mermaid? Should we draw a shark? Or should we draw a seahorse? What do you guys think? A shark, a mermaid, or a seahorse? What do you guys think? What do you think? All right, let's draw, let's draw the shark. Let's draw the shark. I'm gonna draw the shark here. So I'm gonna draw the shark. I'm going to twist the shark coming down towards you. Let's draw this sharky. We'll draw this little sharky. Yay. Now, Jennifer and Angela from the Harris County Library, you wonderful, wonderful, you wonderful team members. They they went over the lesson with me, and I told them I was going to draw four completely different drawings. So you never know. You never know what, what we're going to end up. Now, uh, Angela Martinez said that uh, – Ditz, did, uh, uh D Camp. Oh, Ditsa, a student, did uh, one of her. I think that's is that your your daughter? Uh, Ditsa did the camp. Summer camps are totally worth it. 
my my daughter went a few years ago. Oh, that's is that how you guys uh, met me? Going to the summer camps. I love the summer camps. Next year I'm going to do them in live again. I promise. Next year I'm going to do the the, the camps. Oh, I, all right. As, as, I promise as long as we can be healthy going in live. All right. All right. So we're going to draw the shark now. Now, uh, Elizabeth Torres, she wants the mermaid. Elizabeth, let me find that mermaid. Elizabeth, you know what? If you log in next month, you log in next month and I'll do the mermaid just for you. This we're going to do another. We're going to do this every month, I hope. This is our second one. We're gonna, we'll let's see if we can do it every month throughout the uh, throughout the e e infinity. infinity. I just love my local library system. You know, you know the library started with Benjamin Franklin. Did you know that back in Philadelphia, two hundred and twenty years ago, they started the library started Benjamin Franklin's idea of making sure books were available to the public. It was just a wonderful idea. All right, so here's blocking the shark. Now I'm going to draw the shark's near eyes. Now I'm pushing harder with my pencil. See that blocking the near eye. And I'm going to draw the, here's the dorsal fin. So there, I'll draw that big dorsal fin on the back. This is going to be a cool looking shark swimming here. Look at that long tail. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to draw this shark. Now look at his tail. His tail is so long. Look at that. It goes up. Look at this. Look at that tail. It goes up underneath the, the, the tail goes up underneath the, the hair. See her hair? Look at that. I have to draw the shark fin in front of her hair. Look at the shark fin comes up, and look at her hair. Her hair's there behind the shark fin. Isn't that cool, you guys? That's the thresher shark. And over here, this is called this is called a pectoral shark. See, that's a pectoral fin. That's the side fin. That's fin behind there. See, and I look at. I'm going outside the square. You don't have to stay within that square. You can go outside that square. That square is just a suggestion. And now take your eraser, wherever the line overlaps, you see, I erase, I clean up, and then take your pencil and block it in, <clears throat> and block it in here. Now, if you're uh, parents and teachers out there at an elementary school, if you would love me to uh, come to do a school assembly, I love doing school programs. I do, I've done over 168 school assemblies this year, virtual Zoom school assemblies. It's been uh, a, a wonderful use of technology using Zoom. So if you're at a teacher at a school or on the parent PTA, uh, send me uh, send me an email, mark at markkessler.com. I'd love to come to your school at, via Zoom, via Zoom. Of course, I'm still, I'm still in my, my little uh, uh, Zoom virtual bubble here. As the country gets healthier and better and safer, I'm just, I'm just waiting a little bit longer before I go running around out there, out in the world. All right. So now here, let's put, let's put the our, our teeth. Yes, yes, I am vaccinated. Yes, yes, yes. So is my son, and we're enjoying seeing the, the world numbers dropping, dropping, dropping. That's right. So get your vaccination. Do your part in helping get the this global this global problem this global pandemic this global terrifying nightmare under control. All right, here you go. Uh, oh, now Ditsa. Oh, Ditsa is saying my youngest daughter, almost nine, is excited to see you next month for the mermaid drawing. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm counting on Angela and Jennifer to remind me we're gonna draw. The mermaid. We're gonna draw the mermaid next month. That's gonna be that'll be our our little tantalizing carrot. We'll put that carrot out for you guys. A carrot, a carrot here. Here's that this is gonna be your little carrot. You're like my little bunnies. And I'm giving you guys a little carrot for next month's drawing with the with the uh, library. Now I'm gonna draw the sharks, give the shark a little lip here. Put some wrinkles and look. I'm gonna make the shark have a little a bigger belly right here. See that? I'm gonna give the shark a little belly, and then the back fin is a little bit smaller. See that? This the back fin's a little bit smaller. Now I'm gonna put some shading. Watch what I do here. I shade it dark underneath here, and I get it lighter as it comes down. 
I get it light as it comes down. Shade, shade, shade. See that? Now watch this. I'm going to shade down here. Do you love it, love it, love it? I'm loving this, you guys. It's shade underneath here and get lighter. Shade under the teeth. Look at this shade under the teeth here. Oh, that is so much fun. Now remember, this is this recording is going to be available for you to watch over and over again on the Harris County Library Systems channel. Here, shade. Oh, this is wonderful. I love all these details. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to put, look at this, I'm going to put a whole stream of bubbles. Look at this, the shark. The sharks don't blow bubbles, but I'm going to blow bubbles. I get, oh, wait, wait, we almost forgot. Here, we got to put the contour lines. These are the curving, the gills, so the shark, he can breathe. I love the little details. Details are what make your drawing more, more fun. Now, he's going to be saying, I love to draw. And eat sushi. I love to draw and eat sushi. There's our shark. I'm gonna put a little shadow. I like taking the I like taking the 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 text balloon. Here your your library, the Harris County Library, they have the, these this this book too of mine. This is the imagination station. And you see on this one, you see how I how I use the the I made the fancy blip here. So this is one of my books. Check this one out. Check this one out. Check out you can draw in three thirty days. That's a wonderful one. This is my bestseller. And these these are the draw 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 series. Check these out. Cartoon animals, monsters and creatures. And uh, Angela and Jennifer, if you guys don't have these, let me know. I'll make sure you guys get them. Robots, gadgets, and spaceships. Um, I'm going to, I'll send you a whole set of these. For, uh, I'll donate a whole set to the library. Okay, guys. Um, here's th these, these are, these four are wonderful. These ones right here. Um, I, I, I'm sure I, I saw this on the catalog online, the drawing in 3d. So that's, this is a good one to check out you guys. That's a good one to check out to practice. And you have this one to practice. Now this one. This one's from 1985, and you can check that one out, too, called The Draw Squad. Look how young I was back then. So I've written 14 books on how to draw, and I hope you guys use them. My most recent is this one that you can draw in 30 seconds. I love that. I just love, love, love that one. And I'm working on a brand new one with my publisher right now. It's called The, Hour, or the Half Hour of Pencil Power. Isn't that cool? You get a little sneak. You get to hear a sneak peek. I'm gonna. It's gonna be thirty lessons, and I got two of the lessons done, and I love them. All right, and we're working on my fifteenth book. Uh, let's see here. Maria Kehoe Henners says, "Wish I would have seen this earlier." My thirty-year-old took the class with Mark and drew with him each week. Uh, now he is a degreed artist as well. Well, Maria Kehoe Henners, you can watch the recording. It's, it's going to be posted. Am I right, uh, Angela and Jennifer? It is going to be posted. So you guys can watch it over and over and over again. Uh, yes, Angela, watch the recording. And everybody sign your name to your drawing. I'm going to sign my name. And uh, I will post this picture. I'll put this on my Facebook page, and I'm going to send it. And I'll, I'll make sure that Angela Martinez and Jennifer Bacall, the amazing uh, 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 associates at the Harris County Library. I'm going to make sure that they get this PDF artwork and they'll post it for you, okay? So here, let's put the date, 6, 12, 21. And this is this was our live Zoom, you guys. That's our lesson today. Do you love it? Love it, love it, love it. I hope you decide to come back and draw with us again. We'll come back in another month and we'll do the mermaid. Here's some, let me just show you here. Here, wait, wait. I gotta find that mermaid. Where's the mermaid? Because uh uh Ditsa wants the mermaid, right? A uh, Peggy, was it who was it? Uh uh what's her name? What's your youngest daughter's name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, thank you for helping me. Okay, so we're gonna draw the mermaid. For sure, we'll draw the mermaid. Maybe we maybe we will draw the bunny rabbit. I'm not committing, but I'm committing to that. Maybe we'll draw the robot. 
maybe, maybe we'll draw, maybe we'll draw the penguins looking out the window. So keep keep track of this, guys. Keep track. Maybe we'll draw koala bears. Lots of ideas. Lots of ideas. The important thing is, is to 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 know that I know that you guys are drawing. I know that you're so creative and genius. I'm watching you guys. And take your finger, hold your finger up and say, aha. I want you to have an aha moment every day. All right, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jennifer and Angela, for inviting me to the Harris County Library Live featured author illustrator. Bye, everybody. Hello, I hope you had a great time today uh, drawing with Mark Kistler. Mark, we can't thank you enough for sharing your knowledge and talent with us and for giving everybody the opportunity to learn about simple drawing steps. I don't know if you can hear my cat is even cheering you on here in the background. Um, we will look forward to seeing you again next month. So folks, um, keep checking our calendar and um, we'll have it posted and advertised. In the meantime, you can check out his materials at our branches. You can go visit his website to learn more and download some of those free resources he talked to you about. And also don't forget to register for summer reading. So you do that um, on our website through Beanstack. And once you do that, or you can do it in person, you can keep a list, list the things you read and the programs you attend and you gather points and you can get free books um, and some other great prizes. So thanks again for joining us today.